Luke, wake up, buddy. Get get up. Come on. What? Bro, it's time to give another hundred dollars to a homeless person. Another hundred dollars. Another hundred dollars. You got this. Let's go. No, no more. No get more up. money. I'm broke. I don't have any more money. Bro, that's nothing to you. Get out of bed. Let's fine. Okay. Fine. One more time. One more. Mm. So today we are highlighting another individual who is experiencing some housing insecurity, young, young gentleman. And, you know, uh, I'm just going to ask that you guys have some, a little bit of empathy for uh, Tyrion in that I think his ability to communicate is somewhat impaired. Um, whenever I would ask him questions, sometimes forming cohesive answers were challenging for him. And as I'm doing these, I find that's a lot of people... Um, a lot of people who need help, uh, um, you know, in understanding their mental capacities. And, um, you know, it is what it is. It's a sad situation. But the one thing I will say about Tyrion that makes him amazing is he does express himself creatively. Uh, you know, he's a songwriter. Um, he's very, very devout Christian. And so he's combining those in a way to express himself. And really... Whether or not the, you know, what he produces is of the highest professional standard or not is really sort of irrelevant. I mean, for me, creative expression is an incredible tool for people to try to connect and communicate with the world. And everyone should have access and the ability to express themselves in, you know, in a creative way. And I hope that's what you get from this. So anyways, enjoy. And, uh, I'll see you at the end. So I don't think I got your name on camera before, but so it's just for the for the folks at home. But to introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Charlie Ingram, and I'm originally from Indiana. Fantastic. What how what, what were like the series of events that kind of led you from Indiana to Utah all the way out to Los Angeles? What led you out here? Originally, just being like um, 20 years old mm -hmm. um, and doing like a. Taekwondo convention. And, okay. Um, and for a lot of the... How, and you've been out in Los Angeles since April, right? Yeah. How's it been for you? How have you, how have you found Los Angeles? Some people are still kind of fighting themselves. Um, yeah. <laughs> and I'm yeah. like, I worked out everything for uh, my music. So it, it was um, very easy to kind of stay on track for um, my music mm -hmm. and to kind of get to a place of um to really leave utah with music and then kind of continue with that um in california was not too hard but it was um to really kind of um because when i was in utah i did um work and i did have roommates but then move mm -hmm. out here um to start from fresh mm -hmm. um and then while still doing music um, since living here in California, uh, most of my donations that I have received in my music has helped to be able to uh, pay for more music, um, advertising um, for my music. Okay, great. How would you describe your music? What, what kind of music do you produce? I came out um, with um, Thank the Lord in the city of Utah um, and two other songs. Mm -hmm. and they are Christian music. Mm -hmm. um, and then I have uh, worked on another single and so far hopefully to be able to release, um, at least release another album which should come out around the 12th of next month. And then... I, oh, wow, that's soon. Yeah. Congrats. And, <laughs> um, and then I'll release another album okay. um, pretty soon and another single. Um, and I'm also trying to get a official YouTube channel for, for Vivo. Oh, for Vivo, yeah. Okay, very neat. So what are your main distribution platforms? Where can people find you? Uh, they can um, find me on um, iTunes, mm -hmm. Apple Music, Amazon, and Pandora, Spotify. Okay, very cool, awesome. Has it been, has like on the financial side, has it been enough to where you can live off of it pretty okay? Or has it been, if you had to, you know, work side jobs or how, how do you keep that going? Well, currently I 
don't have a full time job mm -hmm. and I do um, live off of donations that I do receive. Okay. Um, but I try to keep on track to what I know that I'm here in Hollywood for mm -hmm. and to make sure that I um, have things like um, money for like food, money mm -hmm. um, for my music. What about your family? Are they like supportive of your vision and your goals or has it been kind of a lone man path? Um, for my, my family, um, I think that they never really understood, um, that I was always able to hear from the voice of the Lord, mm -hmm. um, except for my mom. So like the rest of my family, they were kind of like very basic and non-religious. Mm -hmm. Um, it was always just me and my mom who kind of went to church. Oh, okay. That's nice. Is she back in Indiana? No, my mom's in Indiana. Very cool. Well, I'm sure she misses you. My mom misses me terribly. She hates that I'm out here. But, um, all right. Well, I want to make sure that, you, well, I hope that you're successful with your endeavors. Um, please take the, uh, the token here. It's, it's in five, so I hope it's okay. Thank you. You're very welcome. And, um, you know, keep on trucking and, you know, if uh, there's anything I can do to help support or whatever, just let me know and, uh, you know, I'll wish you the best. Good. I'll be successful. Thanks so much. So there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one and enjoy uh, spreading messages of positivity through the lens of creativity. I hope to see you in the next one. Take care. Peace.